It's a sweet smell, so mm. does that make it more wintery? Summery? <laughs> Spring? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Paul Foreman. I'm an actor and this is my dad. Hi, I'm Robert Foreman. I'm a doctor who uh, no longer is a doctor, I've retired. <laughs> and I have done wine diploma and uh, enjoy traveling and tasting wines in wonderful locations. Oh, lunch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, lunch. Uh, yeah. Uh, it would revolve around food. Always. And yeah, and probably wine as well. <laughs> For me, it's yeah. uh, Sophie Dame de Pic. Sophie Pic in Pique. Valence. Yeah. yeah, that comes to mind. as a fascination for me where cuisine turns into an experience of senses and, and, and taste. I'll never forget at that restaurant that we tried this ball that has this exothermic reaction so that when you put it on your tongue, it explodes. And then there was one flavor coming out and 30 seconds later, another flavor came out. It was incredible to, to have that relationship with food where it becomes an experience of senses. Dad's smiling. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, that's that's a baguette. Has to be. I'm hoping that's baguette. That that brings me back to my childhood to to You can keep on guessing. Oh <laughs> I went straight back to my childhood and, and um, having that warm fresh baguette, which apparently it's not, but we'll see what it is. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, I, probably that was with Emily in Paris when they had the premiere in Paris and he kindly invited us to that. And that was, you know, it was a spectacular occasion. It was a real gala event and um, not the sort of thing that I would normally be involved with. So it was great, both from the point of seeing what he'd achieved, but also just taking part in the spectacle and, you know, being a participant in that. And proud of him for enabling us to get there. Mmm, it's very fresh. Citrusy as well. Yeah, it's also oranges. Yeah, it's summer for me. It's, it's the garden in the uh, south. Yes, it's also, it, it's a memory of um, the Amalfi Coast. Mm. Um, wonderful lemon groves and things, and it's that. It's very, very citrus full. Mm. But it's very English, sort of Wimbledon or Henley. Mm. Or, uh, you know, a quintessentially English event. For me, summer was the word that, that definitely struck me. I associate summer automatically with France because <laughs> I always go to France in summer. But it's because I associate lemongrass. We've got lemongrass in our garden in south of France. I associate that smell mm. immediately with the summer holidays. It's very nice. What I've learnt most importantly from my dad is there's a mountain in front of him. He, he really approaches it step by step in terms of climbing it. And always, you've always remained calm and collected. That was really important for me growing up. And I think that was an important lesson. There's so many uncertainties in life and especially with, with what I do in, in the sense that I never know when I'm going to work next and all that. I think I've learnt from my dad to always stay calm and, and analyze you know, every situation and, and not panic and work hard, yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I went uh, back to the, my school where every Wednesday, I think it was, there was a, a vente au pain au chocolat. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's a pain au chocolat. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Uh, did it fall down? <laughs> <laughs> I love that, wow. J'adore. As I said, maintenant, je, je, je suis allergique au gluten, donc je peux plus les avoir. Mais euh, ça, ça me donne un, un super bon souvenir. Tous les, tous les mercredis à l'école, on avait ça. C'était... Ouais, ça faisait partie de mon enfance. C'était bon. Ça te donne envie. Ouais, ça me donne envie, <laughs> c'est sûr. I have the beautiful rhinoceros bottle. It's, yeah, it's incredible. I love it. I love it, I immediately connected with it. Yeah, it, it's it's powerful, but in not a, a too offensive way or, or anything at all. It's sweet and yeah, really, really nice smell. What I find is the, what goes behind making wine. 
and it, how it leads you to, to a place. When you drink, or you're smelling and you drink a glass of wine, is to try and pick up, well, does this come from a, a warm environment where you've got these notes of very ripe notes, of tropical notes, or is it from a cold climate where it's going to be very fresh and citrusy? And you get that as well in, in the world of fragrance because it's not so much this is a very refreshing and very almost like a winter freshness and you, you, know, you might think of the Alps or something. So it's, it's the association of the smell with the environment in which it, it takes you or in which it's been developed. And that I think is a fascinating uh, synergy again between the wines and, and, uh, and fragrances. What, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. No. I get um, oh, it's like a cinnamon biscuit. So yeah, it's like an, almost like a caramel vanilla as well in there, and some sweet spice. It's like a club, like a gentleman's mm. club. Yes, it's bold. Yeah, it's bold. It's a state. daring. It's as daring as, as <laughs> this is. It's an incredible name. An incredible smell too. I think calmness. I think I tend to be always calm no matter what the situation is, and patience. You're very patient, and I think I inherited that from you. It's very rare that I, you know, that my emotions get the better of me and that I, I explode in, in a certain way. And I think that's why I act, actually, to be able to access those, let's say, more ugly emotions in a healthy way. Yeah. Immediately. Juniper it takes me back to uh, having gin and tonics with you, actually. Well, it's actually, yes, it's, it's the, when you just pour a, a gin and you pour the tonic in and you get the effervescence coming off, it's exactly like that. It's uh, very stimulating and, and bright. It's my go-to drink. Yes, <laughs> because of my dad, actually, it is my go-to drink as well. It's kind of English countryside as well. The smell of juniper which comes across very strongly in this. You know, it's in the garden bouquet as well as just the gin. For me, I, the word kind immediately comes into mind. Calm, as we mentioned, and uh, intelligent. I think my father's probably the most intelligent man I've ever met. You've had a very small circle. Yeah, of I hang out with actors. Yeah. Actors all the time, so. <laughs> Paul is, is a fun character. I mean, always has been. He's quite loving as well, and you know, we'll demonstrate that. And also, he's sincere. If he says something, you know, he means it, and emotionally, I think he's quite sincere as well. <laughs> the, mo the money, give me the money. <laughs> Oof, mais donc. <laughs>